Has your child eaten a tube of toothpaste, a chip of paint, a wild mushroom? Call the Poison Helpline. Have you been bitten by a spider, a snake, an insect? Call the Poison Helpline. Poisonings can happen at the home, on the job, or in the great outdoors. Call the Poison Helpline first for fast, free advice from medical professionals. Call 1-800-222-1222 anytime, anywhere. 1-800-222-1222. Save the number, save a life. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Schrock Innovations presents the Midwest's number one independent computer repair company with service centers in Lincoln, Omaha, Papillion, and across the country via the Schrock desk. This is Compute This. All righty, folks. Welcome into Compute This. You are in the right place. I am still Thor Schrock, the owner of the Schrock Innovations Computer Company, with three service centers, Lincoln, Omaha, Papillion, Nebraska, to help you out worldwide, as you just heard, on the Schrock desk. So, yeah, we've got a new opener. Let me know what you think of it, 866-496-8772. Um, call in, ask a question, make a comment about our new opener, and uh, we'll put you in the drawing for a $25 Schrock Innovations gift certificate. So why the new opener? Why now? Let us dissect this mystery as we look at what is different from this opener than the previous show opener that we've used. The previous show opener, we've been using that for over a decade. So <laughs> it was hard to let it go, but here's the thing. It talked about how we were Nebraska's number one independent computer repair company and, you know, all this other stuff. Next week, we're going to welcome our listeners from WHO in Des Moines to the program. Uh, next week's show will be the first show that they actually hear on WHO in Des Moines, which is great. But in people in Iowa, I don't know, they may not care about Nebraska's number one independent computer repair company. So we thought we should make something that's kind of relevant to everybody. So what if we were the Midwest's number one independent computer repair company? Now, we have empirical data that shows that we, you know, we won the, uh, the Best of Sarpy Awards. We won the Best of Omaha Awards, the Best of Lincoln Awards. Uh, we just uh, won, and we're going to talk about this on the program today, the Omaha's Choice Award. That was pretty cool. Um, so uh, the World Herald's Award uh, for 2018, we were the first place finisher for computer repair. So that was pretty awesome. Um, so, you know, we have some data that shows that we actually are, do pretty well. Customers like us, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and now, do we have any Des Moines, you know, data about Des Moines? Of course not. We're not there yet. Um, but that's the challenge. And then, oh, my gosh, you guys, there is a lot of logistic things that go into uh, launching a radio show in a new market. This is, you know, we started in Lincoln, Nebraska on a radio station there. And it took us, man, we were, we were kind of honing our trade for many, many years before we were picked up on this station. Uh, and then we haven't moved to another station since 2010 was the last time we added another station. That was eight years ago. Well, now here we go. We're going to add WHO in Des Moines and wow. So for example, in October, uh, get this guys. If, uh, for those of you who are wondering when the next uh, big windows update is coming out, now the big update, uh, which is like the windows upgrade, uh, we're looking, it's called the code name is redstone five and it looks like it's coming out in October. Um, so why is this important to you? This will be the next big update that really, really, really blows your stuff up. Um, so that's why it's important to you. And that's why we created Safe Upgrade. We've talked about this in the past. You know, don't worry, it's not for sale now. You can't go buy it now. But Safe Upgrade is the program that allows you to get that Redstone 5 update and to get it in a way that is controlled so that you can make sure it doesn't blow your stuff up as, as best as we can. Even with all the precautions that we take, once in a while, it blows up anyway. So we offer a warranty. If you buy Safe Upgrade and it blows up anyway, we will fix your computer for free. It's kind of like a little insurance policy. How does that work in Des Moines? Huh, interesting question. So are we going to, we don't have a service center in Des Moines yet. So are we going to, A, you know, ship computers back and forth? possible we could we could do that um are we going to be set aside a day of the week where we send a technician to des moines to do a bunch of pickups and then bring them all back to the service centers let's say in omaha for example and then repair them and then set aside a day where we're going to go take them all back and drop them off well that could work logistically might be complicated what about that one person who said they're supposed to be home and they're just not home and so you drop off all 14 computers and you have one left do you just make that customer go another week without their computer? So there's some logistic things that are in there that uh, that can cause some some grief. So we're still working those out, guys. We're, we're going to get through this. 
<laughs> that the first step was a new opener. And I'm really nervous that you wouldn't like it. So I wanted to make sure, let me know if you like it. If you don't like it, let me know too. It's not too late to change anything. Um, next week, like I said, is the first show that uh, will air in WHO in Des Moines. So if you uh, don't like it, if it's not cool, let me know. And then we can make some adjustments and change it. If you don't like the voice talent, if you think the guy's a jerk, you know, let me know. And we can, <laughs> oh, we love you, Scott. We are... <laughs> I'm just messing with you. 866-496-8772. All right. So for the program today, we got quite a bit going on. Uh, UK Cybersecurity Agency finds lots of low-risk concerns with Hunwai Security Center. I'm saying that wrong. Can someone tell me how to say that? It's not Hunwai. There's no N in it. Huai? It's the Chinese cell phone maker. I'm going to figure out how to say that. I'm going to call it Hunwai for now. Um, next up, an Internet of Things hacker builds a Hunwai-based botnet enslaving 18,000 devices in a day. Uh, if you don't know what a botnet is, we're going to tell you about that. The reason we're talking about all this stuff is there is one of the big points of contention in the, the big Chinese trade war thing is the theft of American intellectual property and the implementation of that American intellectual property in the Chinese marketplace. So all of a sudden, China doesn't want to import Samsung phones from Korea, and they don't want to import iPhones from America, they want to have their own domestic you know, cell phone company that makes their cell phones. That's what well, Hunwai is. And they are the largest cell phone manufacturer on the planet. More people on the planet run their phones than any other phones. They're very popular throughout Europe, throughout, of course, Asia, um, you know, Australia, because they are cheap. Imagine getting all the features available in an iPhone, aside from, of course, the software for half the price or less because it's that that's how much it costs to build the i mean it's they make so much money same thing with samsung uh high-end galaxy s9 well guess what instead of a thousand dollars for a flagship smartphone maybe you pay 450 dollars for it in china and, and they can make money selling the phones they can make a lot of money selling the phones at that price in china so uh interesting thing we have a, a client actually who does a lot of business in china um he uh he runs a fireworks company and of course, all the fireworks are made in China. So, you know, he has to go through and deal with production and everything else. And when, the, uh, when China shut down their, for their Communist Party, uh, you know, platform thing, uh, and they made the, the president their president for life, if you know anything about, if you follow po politics at all, you understand they basically changed the constitution so that he would never have to be reelected. The, so they, China just basically became like a pseudo dictatorship. Um, there's still a communist party regime in place there but the leader the head guy isn't going to have to run again now um so basically when they did that they were really concerned about unrest they were we were unsure how the populace was going to take it so they called a one month holiday throughout the entire country they shut everything down in china and as a result it put him so far behind on fireworks production that if you notice this year uh fireworks in the tents were more expensive a lot more expensive um, we spent the same amount of money for the Schrock 4th of July party that we did and on fireworks. And last year, I had a whole truck bed full and a whole back seat full, like in the truck. Like the crew cab was full. I mean, you were driving down the road. You had the windows down because you were afraid there could be like some kind of spontaneous combustive explosion in the car from all the gunpowder you could smell as you were driving down the road. We're tripping off Homeland Security sensors as we drive by. You know, it's bad. Um, but, you know, we, we rolled the windows down and everything. But this year when we... We got the truck. It was only half, uh, three quarters full in the truck bed, but we spent the same amount of money. Um, and this is part of the reason why fireworks guys were hurting this year. Um, the way that the holiday fell, there was uh, fewer days to buy fireworks than there were in previous years, and the production was behind. Um, the, our car, my client was telling me that we were, they were getting fireworks shipments still coming in on July 2nd and July 3rd that shipments were still arriving. And then when you think about it, then they have to move it and transport it and get it all up and up for sale. It's, it's a it's a boatload of trouble. Well, in China, they, they, they build these smartphones, and these smartphones are absolutely amazing, and they're absolutely cheap. They do everything the American smartphones do, but cheaper. Um, and they also allow China to monitor all of them from one central location. And there's a security concern as a result of that, so we're going to talk about that on the program today. Uh, we talked a little bit about the MacBook Pro uh, yesterday, the, or last week yesterday. It's just like yesterday between friends, guys. But last week, we talked a little bit about the MacBook Pro. The new MacBook Pro is out, or the, the, the specs have been released, I should say. And uh, wow, it is an, it's a monster with a Core i9 processor and everything else. 
but it also has a little bit of a glitch that makes it a little concerning. We're going to talk about that. Before you buy one, you definitely want to hear this. Uh, also coming up on the program, good news. Old ransomware has been revamped as Bitcoin stealing malware. So if you don't have any Bitcoin, does that mean you're okay? Oh, in other news, thieves who are disappointed with the returns on their Bitcoin stealing investments are turning to other more serious, dangerous risks instead. Hmm. So this guy, obviously, the, the creator of this ransomware didn't get the memo, apparently, that there's no money there right now. So you should go do something else that's scarier. But uh, the Jigsaw virus, we're going to talk about. That sounds like a horror movie. The Jigsaw virus. We're going to talk about that one. Also, last but not least, something that touches everybody who has a cell phone. Okay, have you been to the movies? And you see, like, one, one movie theater, it's like Sprint talking about the, they got the, the Verizon guy. They hired the guy from Verizon, the Can You Hear Me Now guy, but he can't say Can You Hear Me Now because that's like trademark Verizon. But they put him in like a yellow shirt and they made him a Sprint guy. And he's like, I used to be with Verizon, but now I'm with Sprint. Ha ha. Can you hear that? Because he can't say Can You Hear That? Can You Hear Me Now? And uh, yeah, so they're the best. We're the best. We have the fastest, blah, 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 asterisk, asterisk, cross, cross. Uh, and then you see a Verizon spot. We're the fastest. We're the best. We have the best everything. You know, asterisk, asterisk, dot, dot. T-Mobile, we're the fastest. We're the best. Well, what cell phone carrier is actually the best? Which one should you buy? Which phone should you get? We're going to tell you all of those details coming up on the program today as well. 866-496-8772. Uh, also, your weekly service center update, those of you who requested, this week, at Schrock Innovations, the Lincoln Service Center is officially out of queue. So if you have a prepaid maintenance checkup certificate, I'm just going to say we're at the end of June right now, guys. What's going to happen in the next week is all of a sudden kids are going to realize that their summers are almost over. And parents are going to realize all of a sudden that these children, some of which are going back to college, some of which are going back to high school, need to get their stuff in order because they're going to be packing up and shipping out to school here in like three weeks or less. So what's going to happen is we are going to see a huge rush of people into the service centers trying to get their kids' technology checked out before they go back to school. So if you have a prepaid maintenance checkup certificate that you have been meaning to use, that you purchased during the sale before, now is the time to bring it in. It doesn't matter what service center. Now is the time to bring it in. Now is the time you're going to get the fastest turnaround times you can possibly get. It's not going to get any better than right now. Lincoln is operating at 24 to 48 hour turnaround time. So same day, next day. The Papillion Service Center uh, was in queue this week. I don't know what the deal was. The Omaha Service Center was crickets. Omaha right now, you could take a computer into the Omaha Service Center, pop right up on the bench, get a technician to look at it pretty much immediately. They only, they have like 40 bench spots. They only had like six computers in there. So it was pretty light. Uh, so we took some of the Omaha techs over to Papillion because Papillion had all the work for some reason. And so we, we, 24 to 48 hours, we work through all the backlog there. The Papillion Service Center is now out of queue as well. So no matter what, which of our three service centers you'd like to go to, we can certainly help you out there. If you'd prefer not to bring your computer into the service center, if you have a problem with it, a lot of people don't realize, probably because I don't talk about it as much as I should, but given the new intro, we have this thing called the Schrock Desk, you see. And on the Schrock Desk, we can remotely connect with your computer and help you out as if we were sitting with you right there beside you and using the computer. So if you have problems with a piece of software not working right, if you have a printer that won't print, if you have uh, you know, pretty much anything, as long as, you, as long as you can get on the internet. If you can't get on the internet, then we got a problem. But if you can get on the internet, everything should be fine and should be good to go. The challenge that we have is that we only have so many appointment slots available during the day, right? So when you call in, you might have to, we might have to call you back in a half an hour and get you going, but we try to help out people as, as soon as they call in. Same hourly rate as in-shop work, so it's not a bad deal. Uh, you don't want to do a maintenance checkup over the Schrock desk, though. Number one, we can't clean your computer out over the internet. We have to blow it out and like scrub it down and stuff. Uh, we can't really do that over the web. They haven't invented that yet. Uh, the second thing is you, it'd take a long time. You don't want to pay an hourly rate for something that long. Now, the other thing that we can also do, again, I don't talk about it a whole lot, but do you know that we'll actually come to you? Schrock Innovations does on-site work. We will send a technician to your home or your office to help you out with your computer problems when they happen. Um, do you know, for example, that we offer free pickup and free drop-off? 
We will come to your home, pick up your computer, bring it back to the service center. So you can, for those of you who are, have a you know, medical condition, just had a surgery or something, can't lift the thing, don't want to lift the thing, would rather see a younger person lift the thing. We will send one of our incredibly handsome Schrock Innovations technicians to your home or office to pick up your computer, bring it back to the shop, address the concerns that you have, and then we can drop it off again for you. So those are just some of the things we offer at Schrock. I don't talk about them a whole lot. I probably should, but now you know about them and you can't say, I didn't tell you. Welcome also to all of our listeners on Facebook, facebook.com slash Schrock Innovations. Keith, Dell, Don, and Lee, welcome aboard. Um, Oh, too harsh for 7 a.m. Dell doesn't like the opening music, says it's too harsh for 7 a.m. on Sunday. Well, you see, Dell, you're only thinking of yourself there because everybody else hears the show about 10 o'clock in the afternoon, 10 to 2, when it replays in their local markets. So you see, I'm trying to please everybody. So if it's too harsh, I get it. I mean, it wasn't that much more harsh than the, uh, the music from the old Bo Pelini show. That's what the, <laughs> the last one was. It was the same opener that they used for the Bo Pelini show. And we're like, hey, we had it first, Bo Pelini, and we outlasted you. 866-496-8772. Are we going to take our first break of the program? When we come back, Dale, Mike, and Martha, your calls are coming up next on Compute This. Schrock Innovations repair technicians also make house calls. Make an appointment and let us bring our award-winning computer support right to your home or business. Every person listening to this broadcast has either experienced data loss or know someone who has when you think about it you have a lot of data stored in many more places than you'd like to admit have you downloaded those videos from your phone back up the pictures on your ipad or even tackled that sometimes daunting task of backing up your entire computer's hard drive most people just don't back up their stuff and that's why schrock innovations has one of the most advanced data recovery centers in the midwest Equipped with the latest DDI data imaging devices, state-of-the-art custom recovery software, and Omaha's best data recovery technicians, Schrock Innovations has a 96.8% success rate when recovering data from damaged hard drives, flash drives, camera cards, and more. We all know we should back up our data, but if you are ever caught in a data loss nightmare, call the experts at Schrock Innovations to get your data back right where it belongs, safe and backed up on a stable hard drive. Compute this pro tip 423. Everyone knows you need an antivirus and firewall program for your computer, but which one is the best? Should you use the free ones, pay for a commercial product, or maybe even the free stuff your internet service provider gives you? The absolute worst thing you can do is to install nothing. Windows 10 comes with Windows Defender, but Microsoft never intended it to be your primary antivirus product. Free antivirus like AVG or Avast are more effective than Windows Defender, but Consumer Reports ranks the free antivirus products in the middle of the pack when compared to their commercial competitors. As for the free software from your internet provider, forget about it. It's designed to protect their network, not your computer. There are two products that trade the crown for best antivirus software year after year. Schrock recommends semantic products like Endpoint, but the Russian-made Kaspersky antivirus program also does an outstanding job. This pro tip brought to you by Schrock Innovations Computer Company. Now you see, we have the opener, which admittedly is a little bit more blood pumping on a seven o'clock Sunday morning. But then we have Weezer, you know, I mean, Weezer's a little more mellow. You can, <laughs> all right, guys. Hey, I don't pick the mid music. Okay. That's, that stuff is, that's station, station fair right there. But the opener, I do have some say over. So honestly though, I, I'm taking your criticism, Dell. And if, uh, there, if, if everybody is, you know, hey, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, you know, and then we'll work on it. 866-496-8772. Let's jump into those phones. Dale, how can I help you on Compute This today? Hi, good morning. Morning. Oh, uh, last year my daughter bought a new Dell, and she gave me her um, um, old, uh, it's not really that old, uh, Peter Packard notebook. Okay. And it's kind of a two-part question. I want to do a reset on it. She's got a lot of stuff on there that I, I just want to get rid of. And this um, notebook has a recovery partition in the hard drive. Right. Should I, before I do the reset, should I create a recovery drive for it, or is that an uh, unnecessary step? It's not going to be necessary on the HP because the HP probably already has a recovery. That recovery partition is bootable. 
And so what's going to happen is there's usually a hot key that you can hit when you're, when you're rebooting the computer. Um, now, there's a couple ways you can do this. It's usually like F3, one of the F keys, not usually F2 and not yeah, usually... It's it's F11. There you go. Uh, so if you hit F11 on the reboot, it'll boot to the recovery partition and give you all the recovery options, one of which is to restore to factory defaults, which will restore the original version of Windows that came with the computer, which will restore the all the original bloatware that came from HP and basically reset everything back to factory spec. Be prepared after you do that for a gargantuan Windows update session. Um, yeah. because it's going to update you all the way because that, that computer, you know, even if it's only a couple years old, could be four revisions of Windows behind. Um, well, it's actually still 8.1. Oh, wow. So, so she, she, she got her new computer just as, uh, uh, well, in fact, her Dell came with 8.1, and then you know, Windows released the upgrade. And yeah. It was updated. But, okay, uh, so then the good news here is when you do the factory restore, that factory restore, it, it may restore it back to Windows 8.1, or it may actually, the, up, the partition may have updated to a Windows 10 recovery partition. Um, okay. So if it's not Windows 10, you can still reinstall Windows 10 at no cost because you've done it before. I got another. The second part of this question is I went using the F10. You can go, they have what they call a refresh, which is just, you know, it yep. kind of defaults your settings but keeps your files. Yep. Well, then I went one step further, and... When you go into reset, this is where I got confused. It had two options under reset. One was you're going to recycle your computer. It basically, you know, wipes everything and re-downloads uh, Windows. The second one was if you're going to keep your computer. Mm -hmm. What is the difference between the two? It, it sounds like they both remove your files, but uh, I, I don't understand. And I, I look in the user guide that's in the computer for the under, you know, the HP user manual. And it really doesn't even talk about that second choice that's available there. You know, it's one right. is if you're going to get rid of your computer or recycle it. The other one is if you're going to keep it. Yep. And then the difference there is the ferocity with which it deletes your files. Um, so basically, it, the one that when you're going to get rid of the computer, it is going to scrub those files clean so that they can't be recovered easily. Um, when you're going to keep your computer, it doesn't take that extra step. What's the difference? The difference to you is time. Um, the, the first option that when you're going to get rid of the computer, deleting those files could take hours. Um, the second option is if you're going to keep the computer, that format is going to take seconds. Um, so it's much faster if you're going to keep the computer, but if you are going to get rid of it, um, do the other option. Either one, you're right, gets rid of all the files, but the uh, one is a little more thorough so that other people can't recover your files in the future. Thanks for the call, Dale. We appreciate it. We also have you in the drawing, Dale, for a $25 Schrock Innovations gift certificate. Good for anything your heart desires over at the service center. We uh, will get that out to, to the winner on Monday. 866-496-8772. Mike, welcome back to the program. How can I help you uncompute this? Oh, uh, yeah, I recently had my desktop in for your maintenance checkup, but uh, I forgot to mention this problem when I had it in. This okay. problem started a few months ago. Okay. I'm using Windows Live Mail. I've got a group list of about 20 people. Gotcha. I've been using this group list for years. Now, five of those people on the list are on AOL. When I send an email message to this list, four out of the five AOL addresses are returned with an AOL error message 521. AOL don't like those. <laughs> so I put those four uh, people into a separate group, sent a message to that group, and still got the 521 error message back. I then sent a message to each of the four individually, and it worked. It went through. I didn't mm -hmm. get an error message. Yep. Weird. No, not weird. They think you're sending spam. They, they think you're sending unsolicited email to those people and AOL is trying to protect them from that unsolicited mail by blocking your message. It's a feature called flood detection. Um, so when you're sending the identical message to multiple people at the same time, AOL will block those and bounce it back with that, with that error, that 521 error. Um, so that's, that's primarily what's going on. It's a security feature for, to protect AOL customers. Why only four out of five? You know, that's a great question. My guess is the first one went through and the second one was considered a duplicate. And so then once they detected there was duplication, then at that point they, they settled into the, 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 
the blocking of the rest of the messages. So for example, when we send email out to uh, Schrock Innovations customers, we do have a lot of customers on AOL. Um, they just got a AOL email addresses back in the day and they never got rid of them. So when we send email out, we, we limit how many we send to each, each type of subscriber at a time. So for example, uh, in, a, in a one hour period, we're not gonna send more than five AOL emails. Uh, we also vary the subject line and the body of the email so that they're not considered identical because if you have a subject and a body that are different, well, all of a sudden you have, uh, what, if we three of each, so three subjects and three bodies, now we have nine different potential email combinations. So we have a one in nine chance of creating a duplicate email and, and then if we're only sending them you know, five an hour, we're not gonna trip flood detection anyway. Um, so there's a lot of things with email deliverability that uh, in the old days, you, you could create a list, you could fire it off, and you could be pretty, pretty sure that everyone was gonna get it. Today, you almost have to use some kind of an email service that takes these deliverability concerns into options, something like MailChimp, for example. Um, but of course, those cost money. Hmm. So, uh... If one would get through, uh, when I sent to the group of four, none of them got through. Gotcha. Yeah. And honestly, if it was it the same message? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, then they, once the message has been sent and once it's been flagged as spam, sending the message subsequent times doesn't increase the odds of it going through. No, this was a separate test message that I sent to that group. Oh, gotcha. I just asked, it was the same message, and you said it was. So I was like, okay, well, you can send the same message over and over again. It's gonna, it's not going to go through. That's the, that's the flood detection. Um, the, yeah. other, the other possibility, too, is that do the people in the group have you added to their contact book in, on AOL? Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure of that. Okay. But. You know, that's the next step. If these people want to get the email, um, they may have to add your, your email address. And I tell customers this all the time. You know, when I send an email, I send it from my, my actual real email address. And if you respond to the emails that we send out, even if it's a mass email, if you respond to that email, it comes back to me. Um, and the reason for that is people will add me to their address book to make sure that if it goes to junk one time, they're like, oh, I don't want those, you know, alerts about the maintenance checkup special, for example, to go to junk, I want to make sure I see those. So I'm going to whitelist Thor Schrock's email account. Well, you, if you contact these people individually and ask them, can you add me to your whitelist or add me to your address book, that will solve the problem as well. Since there's only four of them, I mean, obviously, if you were sending out thousands of emails, this would be a problem. But since there's only four, that would probably be the best solution that I would recommend for you there. All right, well, thank you very much for the call. I appreciate it. We got to take a quick break here, bottom of the hour. Phones are still stacked up. So when we come back, Martha, Bonnie, and Cheryl, your calls as well as cybersecurity agency finds concerns on Chinese smartphones. What's going on there? Coming up next on Compute This. Update all of your third-party apps on your computer with Secure Updater. It keeps all your apps running smoothly and helps block viruses. Download it for free today at secureupdater.com. External hard drives are handy. You can back up multiple computers to them or even use them to move lots of data from one computer to another. Computer users have been buying the same old external hard drives for years. While our computers have been getting faster, we still do backups that take hours or watch epic progress bars creep by to move files. Schrock wanted more for our customers, so our innovators created the fastest external hard drives on the planet. Schrock modular storage devices are up to 50% faster than Seagate or Western Digital Externals and are modular in the truest sense of the word. We can create whatever size and speed of drive you need for all of your needs. And all modular storage devices come with a data restoration guarantee. If you use our drives for backing up and your computer's hard drive fails, we'll restore your backup to your repaired computer for free. Fast, simple, and flexible technology solutions from Truck Innovations. It's what we do. Compute this pro tip number 753. Have you ever wondered how the bad guys always seem to find a way into your computer? Gone are the good old days of email worms and I love you viruses. Nobody wants to steal your data anymore, or in many cases, even your identity. Today's cyber criminals want to sell access to your computer or hold your data for ransom. The bad guys are exploiting zero-day vulnerabilities to break into systems that are supposed to be hack-proof. These vulnerabilities are always newly discovered, and the criminals have a brief time to exploit them before they get patched. Antivirus and firewalls do not prevent these attacks, but you can minimize your computer's exposure by installing all security patches as quickly as possible. The average computer needs 12 patches a week. 
That's not including the ones that are automatically delivered to your computer. Boost your cybersecurity by staying on top of it manually or use a patch installation program like Secure Updater to get your computer the patches it needs. This pro tip is brought to you by Schrock Innovations Computer Company. Fox News Radio, I'm Karen McHugh. The FBI releases heavily redacted FISA records and former Trump campaign aide Carter Page. One thing that is clear in the unredacted sections, though, is that the Democrat-funded Steele dossier played a significant role in the initial foreign intelligence surveillance application, which was submitted in October 2016. This FBI stated, quote, it believes Page has been the subject of targeted recruitment by the Russian government to undermine and influence the outcome of the 2016 U.S. presidential election in violation of U.S. criminal law. Fox's Garrett Tenney. Texans are about to get a break from record-setting heat waves. Today, again in Dallas, 102. But by Monday, you're down to, say, 96, uh, 97 down across parts of Austin as well. So it does get better. Fox meteorologist Rick Reichmuth. Meanwhile, more heavy rains in the forecast for much of New England this coming week. Fox news we report you decide now the news radio 1110 kfab weather watch sunday morning clouds will give way to afternoon sunshine across the metro expect a high temperature of 86 degrees with northeast wind moving in at 5 to 15 miles per hour once we get into monday those rain showers will move in early and linger into the afternoon with omaha's most accurate weather team i'm six news meteorologist peter sherwood on news radio 1110 kfab <laughs> All righty, folks, welcome back into Compute This. My name is Thor Schrock. I'm the owner of the Schrock Innovations Computer Company. want to let everybody know who's listening, wherever you're listening, whatever station you're on, Compute This is recorded every Sunday morning at 7 a.m. That's why we were talking about Sunday mornings earlier in the program. It's a little early on a Sunday morning for rock and roll music, you know. Um, you may not hear the program at 7 a.m. So when I give out the phone numbers to call, if you call that 800 number when we're not on the air, it goes to our Lincoln Service Center so that you can get the help that you need with your computer. If you call that number while we're on the air Sunday morning from 7 to 8 a.m., you'll obviously make it into the program just like Cheryl has done. And then we'll take your call just like this. Welcome to the program, Cheryl. How can I help you on Compute This today? Thank you, Thor. I wanted to thank you for reminding us of your free pickup and delivery. Right now, I'm having to use a walker or a cane, and my grandchildren will help me till they go back to college. But then I was wondering what I was going to do after that. So I really do appreciate to know that there is that service, and how far in advance would I have to ask for the help? Well, sure. It depends on, we have uh, on-site technicians. All of our on-sites in Omaha are dispatched from our Papillion Service Center, and all the ones in Lincoln are obviously dispatched from the Lincoln Service Center. So to some degree, it's a staffing issue. You know, we have so many slots in the day that we can send people on-site. We have corporate agreements where we have to go out and help our, our business partners out and make sure that they're doing okay. But basically, if you call in, it's possible we can be up there same day. Um, otherwise, you know, we will schedule it out for like the next day or the day after, you know, something that that's reasonable. It won't be like, oh, we can be out there next Thursday. You know, it won't be anything like that, but usually we try to get out in, in the, that day or the next day. Okay. Cause I have one of those prepaid maintenance agreements that I wanted to get my computer in for. Gotcha. Then this, this uh, is probably something I should specify too. There are certain situations where we will not do free pickups. Um, now, the maintenance certificate, no one's, ever, no one's ever asked about that one before because when we do the maintenance checkup sale, uh, a lot of people will call and ask us to come pick up their computer, but because of the volume of the sale and, and the price at which we're doing it, we just can't afford to send technicians out to, to pick up the computers. Now, with the certificate, the volume of the sale thing is out of the picture at that point. That's the whole point of the certificate, right? So that you can use it in a time when we're a little slower. And so then it's like, well, why not come pick it up? I, we probably would come pick it up then. So that's a <laughs> so there are certain exclusions and restrictions apply. You know, when we're doing a sale where we're basically giving something away for free, we're not going to come out and pick up your computer for free. Uh, we don't pick up recycles either. So like, if you want to get rid of your computer, you want us to come out and pick it up and take it from you, well, and not bring it back. <laughs> you know, if you want to recycle it, you got to bring it in. But we'll we'll come out and pick up your computer to fix it and bring it back to you. But no, Cheryl, we'd be happy to help you out with that. And uh, I'm glad to hear you're still getting around good and that you got the help there right now. But uh, after school happens, and you know it's coming up here in August, when that, uh, when that hits, we're happy to, uh, to come on out and pick up that computer for you. 
Great. Thank you very much. All right. Have a great afternoon, Cheryl. Thank we appreciate you. the call today. All right. 866-496-8772. Bonnie, welcome to the program. How can I help you on Compute This? Uh, yeah, it's similar to the last caller. Okay. Um, because of metal conditions, I'm a cancer survivor with a hernia and multiple chronic conditions. Oh, my goodness. Well, congratulations on the cancer survival. That's awesome. Uh, yes, that's great. I'm uh, working 25 hours a week, but I get tired easily. Right. Saturday, my sister, who's done, oh, over and above, help for me, took, helped me get my computer to the papillion shop. Okay. And then I didn't quite under, I had the free service, or not, but the service agreement prepaid. Right. And then I heard just, Today, you do free pickup and delivery, and then I heard there's some exclusions to it. Sure. So, and I didn't quite understand. Oh, that. no problem. So, basically, here, here's the deal. We want to make sure that when your computer is acting up, when you're having trouble, that you can get the help that you need. And so, we have a lot of different tools that can do that. So, first of all, um, we can use the Schrock desk, which is, which is much faster than free pickup and free drop-off. Right, this is the maintenance. Right, checkup. for maintenance, obviously, like we talked about earlier in the right. program, maintenance checkups take like eight hours to do, and you don't want to pay us $110 an hour for eight hours to do that. No, um, I do have another question, though, so when you're finished. No, no problem. So we, we, you know, we, we come out and pick that up for you. Now, the times we can't do pickups are times when we are incredibly busy and we don't have the staff to do it. So, for example, when we launched the maintenance checkup special, we get in about 2,000 computers the week that we launched that sale between the three service centers, and we are just, we are yeah. going I, I, a mile a minute. So that, that would be a time where we would say, you know, why don't we do a prepaid certificate for you, and you can call us to do a pickup when we're not so busy. Yeah, okay, my question is now, my sister helped me get the computer to the Papillion shop Saturday. Sure. Could I get it delivered to me free? Oh, absolutely, yeah, we'll bring it back out to you. Okay, because now because of medical appointments, I'm only available in the in the evenings. Yeah. So uh, basically, with the the free pickup and the free drop off, the other limitation is there's a it's a 30 mile range. You have to be within 30 miles of the nearest service center. 15 so, miles. 10, yeah. 15 miles. Okay. Yeah. So you're fine. You're fine. Oh, but, the nearest. Okay. The, yeah, the nearest one. So basically, you know, the the situation sometimes we'll have people call like, uh, yeah, I'm in Kearney. Why don't you come on out and pick this thing up? Or yeah, I'm yeah. in. Uh, I'm yeah. in Des Moines. Okay, <laughs> Why don't you come out and pick up my computer? And we're like, well, that's a little far for us to yeah, drive to drop question. off a computer for free. <laughs> another question. Oh, I use the Papillion Service Center. Sure. Which is about, well, now it's a little, fur little further than 10 miles okay. from where I live. Now, there's an Omaha Service Center, but I don't like to go out there because of the traffic. Okay. My sister doesn't either. Well, and all, all the on-sites, uh, the pickups and drop-offs are going to be dispatched from the Papillion Service Center. So if you, if you call us out to do a free pickup, we're going to bring it back to the Papillion Service Center to work on it. Oh, great. Yep. So you're good to go. Okay. So I can call them and ask them to bring my computer back then. That's right. And for those of you who are not in, in Nebraska, you're like wondering, what are all these cities he's talking about? You know, we have three locations in Nebraska. We have one in Papillion. And in Papillion and Omaha, Papillion is like a suburb of Omaha. So basically, all the on-sites that we do are dispatched from Papillion for the Omaha metro area. Then in Lincoln, we dispatch from the Lincoln Service Center. And at one day, at one some point in the future, we'll have a Des Moines Service Center. And we would obviously dispatch on-sites from the Des Moines Service Center. Um, so there you go. That's, uh, that's, that's the long and the short of it. For those of you outside the listening area, that's what's going on. But for all of us in Nebraska, we're all speaking in shorthand. We know what's going on. So Great. I'll call and have him bring, up, bring back my computer. Yep, sounds good. Dylan should be there this afternoon for you. I won't be able to be here. I won't be able to have him bring him out this afternoon. It's well, he won't be able to bring it out this afternoon because he's by himself today. But they'll probably get you scheduled up for Monday. Okay, sounds great. Thanks a lot. All right, thank you, Bonnie. Have a Bye. great day. 866-496-8772. All right, the Chinese government, as you know, has got some issues with security. They like to monitor things, you know. They're communists. They, that's what they do. Um, in fact, I, you heard about the, well, how could you have not heard about the Helsinki summit? Oh, my gosh. Boy, I, I don't even know what to think about that. There's been so much in the media about that. I mean, you would have you thought that, like, that Trump and Putin got in a room together and they pulled pocket pistols on each other. I mean, it was <laughs> at 10 paces. I mean, it was rough. The, uh, but here's the thing. The Chinese government was actually trying, there was an up, well, I guess I shouldn't say the Chinese government. It could have been anybody. Everyone assumes it's China. But basically, there was a huge uptick um, of Internet of Things devices that were being hacked 
during the time frame of that summit leading up the week leading up to the summit in Finland. So basically, Finland isn't exactly a target for cyber attack. You know, <laughs> nobody is like, oh yeah, we're gonna let's attack the clog factory. You know, it doesn't happen, right? So in Finland, there's not a lot of cyber attacks going on, but the week leading up to the summit, all of a sudden, all the Internet of Things devices, thermostats, security cameras, anything that could possibly possibly give somebody an inkling of what was going on in that room or be it was being hacked to try to get access to it um and a lot of those internet of things devices are made in china and they're made in china and they're, they're the the security of the chinese devices is not the top priority let's put it that way the top priority is making a device really really cheap and getting it out to the market and selling a lot of it well a uk cybersecurity agency finds new low risk now these are low risk concerns with uh again Someone call in and tell me how to say this. Hunwai, Hua, Huai, Huai, I don't know, the security center, the, the Chinese phone maker. I'm going to call him Hunwei because that's whatever. While finding several low-key issues in its annual evaluation of their cybersecurity center, the UK's National Counter Security, uh, it's the NCSC, overall found Hunwei to be providing unique world-class cybersecurity expertise. So what they're saying is the cell phone maker in China has some some low risk concerns that that need to be addressed but overall they are kicking security butt in fact they're one of the most secure smartphones you can have the problem is that chinese connection again because the chinese government can walk in the door and on any day any time and say give us this data and they will get what they ask for there is no due process there is no delay now the problem is is if this one phone company is allowed to have basically world dominance of the phone market. Literally, this would allow the Chinese government, because when you think about it, your smartphone has the ability to track your location. The ability has a microphone, has a camera. Do you know that the president has a special phone just for Twitter? It's the only app on the phone. The phone has no microphone. It has no speakers. It has no GPS information. All it is is a device that he can tweet from. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it's crazy because that's how much security, that's how worried they are that someone, he's going to set this on the desk in the Oval Office and someone's going to hack into the microphone. Uh, so they just removed the microphone from the device entirely. Um, it's, it's crazy. So what they're saying here is these phones from China are actually really, really, really secure. They're not finding a lot of security loopholes, which is the, the bedrock principle of them saying, look at what we have. We're doing it really well. You can trust our devices, and that proliferates the devices into a wider area. But once you have this wide proliferation of devices, there's a concern in the U.S. intelligence community that if every American is carrying a Chinese cell phone, can we not then listen to any American we want to listen to, track any American we want to track? Are we handing that kind of information over to an adversarial, to a foe? The foe word has been, it's like, we're foes. You know, we're foes, we're competitors, you know, to our competitors. Are we handing this over? Um, and so it's, it's a legitimate concern, you know, from, from a surveillance and a security perspective. The other thing it would allow China to do, China could walk in the door tomorrow and say, well, we don't like the trade war, so uh, you're going to shut off the phones of every American. Turn them off. Imagine, imagine the chaos that would cause. I mean, when Facebook goes down for a couple hours, it's like a trending topic on all the other social media networks. You know, like, oh my gosh, Facebook is down. I had to open a Twitter account. This is ridiculous. Imagine if everyone's phone just went dead by decree of the Chinese government in event of war or something crazy. Like, obviously, they wouldn't do this just because it's Thursday. But, you know, <laughs> in, in the event of something like that happening, it's a big concern. So, uh, yeah, so that's one of, the, one of the reasons why all these devices are also built on Android technology for the most part. And it's kind of evident that uh, perhaps China is not necessarily following all the rules when they take the when they're using the patented technology uh, for the uh, for example the Wi-Fi chips uh, and the and things like that in the Android operating system, which is one of the reasons why ZTE was is we're still we don't know if they're in business or not. the The president basically came out and said, "No, nope, they can't use any of the stuff." And then they declared bankruptcy like the next day. China had China's president called and said, "Dude, this isn't cool. You can't bankrupt our companies like that. That's not right." And so then Trump was like, oh, "Okay, maybe that was a little harsh. All right, you know, we'll, we'll give you a lifeline." And then the United States Senate steps in and says, "Ah, no, -uh, no lifeline. No, no soup for you. You're done." And then the company's bankrupt again. So nobody really knows if ZTE is in business or not. But you can actually buy their phones at Sam's Club. Yeah, no kidding. 866-496-8772. Going to take the final break of the program. When we come back, before you buy that MacBook Pro, 
you might want to invest in a laptop cooling pad. We're going to tell you about a concern there as well. Also, which cell phone company is the best one to have? Who has the fastest data? We're going to tell you what J.D. Power & Associates has dec decreed as the top cell phone provider coming up next on Compute This. Drive Advisor is a free program from Schrock Innovations that monitors your hard drive's health and tells you if it's going bad. Download it for free at driveadvisor.com. Schrock Innovations has spent nearly two decades working to make your technology life easier. And the all new SchrockInnovations.com is no exception. Now you can order new modular computers and solid state laptops directly from our website, secure your computer with our virus free guaranteed semantic endpoint software, find innovative new technologies like our modular storage devices and get free help and tips. Take a look at the special section to find sales on one-of-a-kind items, display models, refurbished units, and our latest special offers. Swing by the Compute This page to watch TV segments and archive radio shows, or even get one-on-one -on -one help through the Schrock Desk. As always, we respect your privacy, so we secure our website with the latest encryption technology and only the most secure payment methods. You can pick up your purchases at any of our three service centers or have them shipped directly to your door. The new SchrockInnovations.com makes technology simple. It's what we do. Compute This Pro Tip 299. There are enough mothballed computers in U.S. homes to give one to every man, woman, and child in the country. Many of these computers find their way into landfills where they can leak cadmium, lithium, and other nasty chemicals into the groundwater. Schrock Innovations is very proud of the fact that we recycle more e-waste every year than we create. You can drop off any old or broken computer equipment to our service centers at any time free of cost. We only charge $15 just for monitors because they are especially difficult to process. No appointment is required, and we accept all computer-related equipment like printers, keyboards, speakers, and accessories. Additionally, the rare earth elements in computers can be recycled right here in the U.S. to reduce our reliance on supplies from foreign countries. Take a moment, drop off your old computer equipment today, and Schrock will make sure it's properly recycled and put to good use right here in the U.S. This pro tip brought to you by Schrock Innovations Computer Company. All righty, folks, welcome back into Compute This. And see, during the program, we have these little bumps and the little commercials like what you just heard, and they talk about the things that I always forget to talk about. And I guess I needed one for free pickup and free drop-off too. But uh, here's the deal, guys. Drive Advisor has literally saved people's bacon this week. I cannot tell you the number. We're in our slow time of year, right? So normally this is when like my guys are twiddling their thumbs looking around for something to do. And the number one leading cause for people coming into the service centers has been bad hard drives alerted by Drive Advisor right now. Drive Advisor is telling them, hey, your C drive has gone from 100% health to 99% health. That's like a heart attack. You need to get that fixed before you end up in the data recovery lab. And it literally is saving customers thousands of dollars in data recovery costs because they know their computer is failing. If you have not installed Drive Advisor on your computer, I would strongly recommend it. <laughs> it's, it's free, guys. I, we don't charge anything for it. There's no advertisements that pop up in it. If you want to say what's the benefit to Schrock, I guess the biggest benefit is during our slow time of year, people come in to have their hard drives replaced because they know they're bad. But that's the thing. You could take it anywhere. You could be in South Dakota, Roger. Roger on Facebook, how you doing? You could be in Des Moines where we don't have a service center yet for another year or so. And you could be alerted that your hard drive is bad and you could take it to your favorite computer repair company of your choice and have it replaced. You don't have to bring it into Schrock, but at least it alerts you. You don't get ads, you don't get junk mail, nothing like that. Literally, Drive Advisor sends you an email when your hard drive is bad and it tells you on the screen your hard drive is bad. You can download it for free at driveadvisor.com. Now, because driveadvisor.com was already reserved, we could have bought it for about $16,000, which seemed a little pricey for a free program. We chose to take the other spelling of advisor, you know, theater, theater, advisor, advisor. This is the American spelling of advisor. Advise, er, driveadvisor.com, er, E-R, driveadvisor.com. 
right, 866-496-8772 is the number to join us on the program today. Of course, if you ask a question, make a comment, we're in the final few minutes of the show. We might be able to squeeze you in here yet. So first up, Martha, you've been super patient with us. Martha, how can I help you today on Compute This? Well, um, I'm getting a new computer. It's ordered. I'm not sure what's going to get here. Okay. It's been forever. But anyway, um, as I'm kind of getting ready for it, I want to clean off. I've got a little Seagate GoFlex, you know, 500 gigabyte, like, hard drive thing. And so I kind of wanted to clean some stuff off so I have some room to put on my stuff that I've got on my old computer and put on there. So my question is, I know you've talked about CCleaner before. They've got a defragger. Is that better than the admin tools one, or does it matter, or great what question. would you suggest as I'm cleaning stuff off? All right, great question. So when you're deleting files from the computer, removing files, like deleting the files so you have less stuff to transfer during the data transfer, that's great. What's going to do is you want to delete everything first. Make sure you have everything deleted that you want to get rid of. And CCleaner has a great cleanup feature to clean up all of those little nooks and crannies that, uh, that you don't know necessarily to clean out. Uh, and the, the, the cleanup feature in CCleaner is way more advanced than what you're going to get in the regular system tool. So for those of you who are not familiar with CCleaner, C stands for a four-letter word that rhymes with poop. Okay, uh, it's the C cleaner. It cleans the C off your computer. Okay, so you can get it for free at piriform.com, P I R I F O R M.com, piriform. I'm going to put that in Facebook here, piriform.com. You can get it free at piriform, or if you're a secure updater subscriber, if you right click on your secure updater icon down there by the clock and, and go into select your program, C cleaner is available. You can just check it and it'll download to your computer. Uh, and then you can run it. It has a registry cleaner. It has a hard drive cleaner. It has all kinds of tools on it, like what uh, Martha's talking about here. It's a great little program. So Martha, once you have everything deleted off the computer that you want to delete, defragging is defragging. It doesn't really matter what defrag program you use. None of them are going to give you a significant boost over any of the others. Um, so for example, um, what is defragging? I see this is the kind of stuff like, I've been talking with you guys for eight years plus of, about this. You know, we're going to bring in a whole new audience next week. I can't just assume people know what defragging is. I have to explain it. So imagine you're reading the newspaper and you start the story that's on the front page and it says, please turn to page two, column four. Now imagine that you had to turn every paragraph. There was another jump line, they call it, to telling you to jump somewhere else. And it takes you time to turn those pages and get to the rest of the story. So it takes you a very long time to read that story. Now, if I took all those bits of the story and compressed them together so they were all on the front page of the newspaper, you would read the story a lot faster. And your computer is no different. Your computer, if you take all these, when it saves files on the hard drive, Martha, as you're deleting things, it's deleting a bit here and a byte there. It's leaving little holes. It doesn't delete things like a straight line. There's not a big gap. And so then when you save a new file, it fills in all the little holes. It says a little bit here, a little bit there. It jumps all over the place. So as a result, you end up with a fragmented file. So defragmenting your files is putting all the stories together in a straight line so your computer can read them quickly. This is very, very important to do for the performance of computers with mechanical hard drives, which is what most people still have, mechanical hard drives. If you have a solid state hard drive, by no means should you ever defragment your solid state hard drive. It will give you no performance increase and it actually significantly wears out the life of the solid state hard drive. If you defrag that solid state hard drive once a week, you can kill it in a year. So don't defrag it if you have a solid state. If you have one of our solid state laptops or one of our modular computers that have had solid state hard drives now for the last two years, don't ever defrag it. Windows is smart too. Windows won't defrag a solid state drive either. But if you have a manual tool like CCleaner where you're, you're calling the shots, you could actually defrag it if you wanted to, but there's no, it's not going to do any good basically. So Martha, when you get your new computer, you never want to defrag it. Okay. Thank you for letting me know that. Is there any way you can check on it? Well, I don't see any computers under Martha. Is it under your name, Martha? Yeah, it's, it's M-A-R-T-A. Aha, uh-huh, Martha. All right, I thought you were Martha. No. All right, let me check you here. I see you have a Gallant laptop on order. Bear with me here. I'm like, I wasn't in a customer service screen mode here, so let me let me move into that mode real quick. It's been like four weeks. Yeah, it's, it has been. Let's see here. You were you are due. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like it is on order. It's coming from Asus, and it should be in next week. So we should have it here uh, sometime before the end of the month for sure. So before the 27th, I would say. 
Yay. Okay. <laughs> You're going to love that Great. Galant. It's amazing. And the solid state hard drive in there is wicked fast. Also, uh, happy day, happy news. You're, you're going to get this Martha, because when you ordered, if you went to our website or whatever, or looked at the catalogs, you would have seen the old specifications for the Galant, but actually we updated that spec and we just updated all the computers at schrockinnovations.com as well as we have new catalogs coming, but uh, you're going to get the new Galant, which is the 2018 Galant, which is one of the reasons why it's a little bit slower. Um, we were making sure we can get the old ones all day long. The new ones come direct from Asus. They take a little bit longer, uh, but you're going to get the brand new one that has the eighth generation Intel processor, the faster solid state hard drive, the faster memory, the higher resolution screen, the better keyboard. Uh, it, and you're going to have the USB-C ports on the side uh, as well as the regular USB ports. So all in all, I think you're going to be really happy with it. Cool. Thanks. Hey, no sweat. It's what we do. Great. Thank you so much. All right. Have a great afternoon. 866-496-8772. All right, Jim, you're next up on the show. How can I help you on Compute This? Hey, Thor. Hey. Um, hey, I bought a laptop from you three years ago this month. Well, thank you. And it's been working. It has been, I bought, actually, you were down at ARN on 144th Street all by yourself that day when I bought <laughs> it. Uh, uh, you're no longer there. No, no anyway. we shut that one down. Hey. Yeah. Hey, um, all of a sudden, out of the blue, my, uh, my, I, they won't email out of QuickBooks, Word, or Excel. And it says that there's no email program associated to perform the required action. Right. Please install an email program. So I went in to uh, default programs and Perfect. made sure that my Thunderbird Mozilla uh, was my email. Okay. And I came back out of it, and it still won't do it. It won't email. Interesting. So it, it won't program. interface with Thunderbird. What version of uh, Office are you running? Do you know, is, uh, is it like Office 16 or Office uh, 10? It's, it's, uh, Usually it's it based on a year, uh, 2010, 2013, 2017. Yeah, 2010. Okay, so the uh, Office 2010, 2010 has compatibility issues with Windows 10. Um, it, there are known compatibility issues between Windows, uh, the Office 2010. Sorry, the new music threw me for a loop there. I'm like, what is this? I'm hearing music. This isn't my music. Wait, a, See, I'm even getting used to it. I don't it, know guys. what that is. No, that's our that's our theme music. That's the new. We changed it this week. Oh, okay. But I'm but not even not, used to it yet. It's been, for, it's been working for three years, though. It has been, but you got a new version of Windows 10 pre here recently. Um, so basically, every and six months, up, the, uh, the update. The update. Yep. So and the update is is continuously changing things and moving things forward. So that's going to be my guess, Jim. But if you want us to take a look at it, bring it into the service center. We'd be happy to take a look at it. See if we can't find a workaround for you. All right, today's winner is Bonnie. Congratulations, Bonnie. You got yourself the $25 Schrock Innovations gift certificate. We are running out of time quickly here, guys, so uh, stay tuned. Uh, we'll do an after Schrock on Facebook, so facebook.com slash Schrock Innovations, and we'll be back next weekend for another edition of Compute This. Now, the News Radio 1110 KFAB Weather Watch. This is News Radio.